Hey guys, I just got back from shopping, so I thought I'd do a vlog on what's in the back. Now, I did go to a shop to just get some lipstick, um, and it's body care that I went to. Um, I don't know if America has body care over there, but the shop, to me, um, is really good in like girly products, like makeup and hair care products, and bath products and stuff like that, and you get them from a really low price, really good products at a low price. So let's see what's in the bag. I went in with £10, and I came out with about, I, I came, I, I ended up spending about £9, and that was it, so yeah, I came out with another, with a pound, so I went in with 10 and this is what I got. I got some exfoliating gloves because I get really bad skin around my face and I got them in pink so I thought I'd try these out because I've seen loads of them like YouTube videos where people say that they use these things it helps get into the pores and everything and it helps to exfoliate really well so I picked up some of these they're only 99p and I'm going to give them a try on my face so Yes, they're just for me. My guy is not allowed to use them. We have our sponges and stuff downstairs, but these are mine. So I picked up them for my face. Um, I got some Intecno Limited Edition Hand and Nail Cream, and it's coconut and vanilla. Now, I've never tried this before. I get really, like, bad nails. Like, my hands are always dry, and they, they break. And I find it difficult to grow my nails because of that as well. Um, and they're just so dry and broke and split. So I picked up some of this stuff and it smells gorgeous. It really does. I've opened it and sniffed it. And it smells like... like it's, it's coconut and vanilla, but it reminds me of coffee. And I mean, I love the smell of coffee. Um, but that's what it smells like, like coffee. Coffee in the sun. That's what I think it smells like anyway. So yeah, that's what I picked up. Um, it's a 75 milliliter bottle. Um, you only stick a bit on your hands and it works. Oh, my ring's right out the wrong way. Um, so yeah, that's what I picked up. Um, and I can't remember how much this one was. I think this was 99p. I picked that up for 99p and it's quite a big size bottle as well. You only use a little bit so that'll last me for ages. So I picked that up. What else is there in the bag? I got some hand sanitizer. It's, it's sanitizer for your hands. Because I'm a bit iffy when I'm out and about. And I do wash my hands when I'm out and about. But when you're touching things and you're outside and there's nowhere to wash your hands, I always have this in my bag. So I picked up one of these. And it was buy one, get one free. And they were 99p as well. So I've got two of them because it was buy one, get one free. And this one is lotion as well so it's not just to clean your hands it's like a soft hand lotioner as well and it says it's great for the family public toilets eating out on the go so I got this one to try out and it smells like cucumber and I, I just like these things I really do I think they're lifesavers I really do for when you're out and about Um, I also picked up some Garnier body intensive seven days it's um. It's a body moisturiser for normal to dry skin. Um, I thought I'd give it a try. It smells of grapes. It smells really, really nice. Um, I don't want anything like any anything with like really strong fragrances in it and that because I want something that's going to make my skin really nice and soft because I get really dry skin around on my chin, which breaks out really bad. Um, so I've got some Clearasil downstairs for that. It's like the Clearasil mask two in one. It's um the Clearasil daily scrub wash and the Clearasil mask that you can put on. Um, so I use that every day and night, and then I'm going to be using it three times a week as a mask as well. So hopefully my face will get better. Um, but I'm going to be using this everywhere basically. Just I mean I have really soft skin to start off with anyway, but I just like to use moisturizer just to keep it that bit softer and it smells really nice I like the smell of grapes it smells fresh so I got that I actually went in for a lipstick and I came out with this one now I thought this was like uh, it's pink it's called it's called twist up lipstick rouge it's a pinky one um, and it's a twisty pencil one and it's shimmery and I'm not too keen on the shimmery ones but I thought this was like a naturally pinky color I don't know if you can see the colour on my hand. Um, you can't really see it in this light but it's really pink. Like not, it's sort of like, it 
it's not a dark pink. If I got the dark one, that would have been fine. But that one's really pink. It's like, and because it's shimmery, it's too pink. So I'm not keen on this. But if I put like a, a lip pencil liner on and then use this, then that's fine. But my lips and my face, and my face is just, well, my whole body is just too pale to wear this kind of pink. Um, and I know what you're trying to say is, well, why didn't you test it out in the shop? They didn't have any testers in the shop for me to try out, so I just picked it up and thought that one looks like the kind of one that, you know, I wanted. So, yeah, I picked up the wrong the wrong kind. If they had testers in there, I would have tested them, but they didn't, so um, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out. Maybe I might like the colour, because I do wear, like, dark, like, purples and reds and browns. I'm not a pinky person, but, like, with summer and things like that I want to try them out so yeah I also got this as well but oh yeah by the way this smells gorgeous as well it smells like blueberries it really does it doesn't taste of them but it smells of blueberries so it smells really nice I also got this um from Technique as well and it's fruity roll on lipstick um and it's wildberry fruit fruit wildberry yeah and uh, it's just like just a a lip gloss clear and it doesn't taste very nice but it smells really nice and it just gives you the shimmery look so I picked that up because I like wearing lipsticks and um, not lip glosses but then I picked this up for a lip gloss so I can still wear my lipsticks Um, I also picked this up now this is so not me I wanted like my kind of eyeshadows are like what would you say, like browns, golds, neutral colours, like creams and stuff like that. I don't really go big out on eyeshadows, but I saw this and the colours were amazing. So I wanted to try it. I don't know if you can see the colours very well, but those are the colours that this has. They're really bright and I saw them and I was like, I'm going to have to try them out. So I am going to play around and try out some new looks with some bright colours. It'll be good on nights out and stuff like that, so I picked that up. The box is really good, it's from Technique as well. It's sturdy, it's got a mirror on it and everything, and you got 12 really bright colours in that, so I picked that up as well. So yeah, that was from the body body care shop. Everything that you saw there, um, neat products I'm going to try out, all for under £10. And um, You can get hair products, hair dyes, bubble baths, body washes, baby products, all different kinds of bronzing kits and stuff, teeth whitening, toothpaste, Th the list goes on, it really does, you could get all sorts from that shop, it is amazing, so yeah, I, that's what I got from there. Elsa went into the works, now, I had a book bad on me last month, um, so this month I said, I don't need, from now on, I'm only allowed to buy two books a month, which I shouldn't really be buying any books, because I still haven't read half of my books that I've got. But basically, I went in and I picked up um, Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray. Um, I only picked this one up because I have seen the film and I want I wanted to read the book. But the one I actually went in for was the Withering Heights book because I have seen the film God knows how many times and I wanted this book for so long. These books only came up to £3 because it was buy two for £3. So that's how much they were together. Um, so this is the book I've been after for months, years even. So I, I finally got it. So then I just got this one to go with it, just to have a read of it. So yeah, that's what I got. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any information on any of the products or any colours that would probably go well for me, comment below for me. Um, or if you want to ask any questions about the products and stuff like that, please feel free. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you what I bought today. Um, I'm sorry about the hair. I've, I've literally just tied it up out the way because it was doing my head in this morning after I had a bath. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try out these products and I'm going to be see if I'm impressed or not. And the ones I don't like or the ones I do like, I will let you know about them. So that could be my next vlog. I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye, guys.